What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft here on uh, the Cube Machine. I'm going to be cubing, and we're going to be opening... Nothing terribly exciting here. Uh, you started writing for TCG Player how long ago? Uh, I started writing for TCG Player in 2004, I believe. Maybe. 2005? It was a while ago. Let's say that. It was a while ago. I was with TCG Player for about... <clears throat> I don't know, nine years? In total. I was a full-time employee for TCG Player for about seven years. And... Uh, then I wrote for Channel Fireball for about two years. Uh, I uh, top aided a Pro Tour, top aided a Grand Prix. I was at the 2014 Magic Online Community Cup. Uh, I've written for Star City Thank Games. You. I've written for Cool Stuff. Uh, I've written for PC Gamer Magazine. Um, I stream five days a week, sometimes six days a week. Probably just gonna go with Ancient Tomb here. Um, and. Uh, Yeah, so that's uh that's my that's my resume basically. So <clears throat> Steven C, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Ooh, mind twist. We have not had mind twist yet, but we we have now. That's pretty nice. Um So yeah, the those people are <clears throat> people are asking what my spoiler was and when I would be premiering it and uh I made a joke about how I haven't I haven't really been around long enough or done enough in the magic community to get a spoiler, so. Uh, I want to take Mind Twist. I don't think that's really... I don't think it's even that close. Phyrexian Metamorph is probably the only thing that keeps us on color here. Like, there's some good white cards. But, uh... Mind Twist, Ancient Tomb. Metamorph seems good. Uh, there are some stips for sure. However, they are all very specific. And they require specific things. <coughs> so I have to open specific things. Yeah, I'm going to take Metamorph here. Oh, Rakdos Signet? That's nice. That's on color for this Mind Twister. Uh, whenabouts was that? Like, you're... Like, it's... I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I had an article... I had several articles last year and the year before that. I don't think I've written anything this year, but who knows? It all blends together. Ooh, Duretti. <clears throat> <clears throat> if my throat wasn't so scratchy, every time I began to talk during the day, that'd be great. That would be great. I'm a big Duretti fan, especially with two artifacts here. Wow, that is a late Gaia's Cradle. It's also a late Yogmoth's Will. <clears throat> um, man. Every time I check my drink, I'm like, yeah, there's enough here. And then every time I go to drink it, I'm like, nah, I should have refilled it. Uh, man, Yogmoth's Will is very, very good. Is it good without Storm? I don't know. They're making me watch two commercials? Oh, man. Are you do... <clears throat> How are you doing today? Just a friendly question. How often do you do... Hold on. I'm trying to I'm trying to parse your, your sentence that I think you messed up on a little bit. I'm um, just going to take Yawgmoth's Will because I think it has the highest upside. It's just a scary card. Um, just a friendly question. How often do something you accept f friend requests on Facebook? Um... <laughs> Uh, I think you mean accept with an, with an A. I'm not sure. Um, can you fix that sentence for me? So I'm. Uh, I accept them if I know who they are. Like, if I know you from the stream, I'll usually accept because I think you're uh, you're good natured. <clears throat> this pack's really strange. I'm gonna take the Goblin Welder. Let's try to get some artifact shenanigans going here. I do like a Mana Confluence. Yeah, I still haven't accepted Rob's, just because Rob's Rob's kind of a weirdo, guys. I know it's weird to hear, but he's not. He's a little. He's a little off, man. I think we take the Mana Confluence here. I don't think it's Nahiri. 
could be Nahiri, actually. It gives us a discard outlet. We don't have any way to, way to cast it right now, though, so... Yeah, we'll just take the Mana Confluence. I'm actually... As far as lands go, I think Mana Confluence is a good one. Oh, Orzhov Signet? Oh, boy. <clears throat> In our deck that's focusing on artifacts? Okay. Okay. Manic Vandal, huh? Burning of Zinyi. Maybe we're a Burning of Zinyi deck. Maybe Crutch Jr. will love this. We'll see. Yeah, but if I don't know who you are, like, if your name is Bobby Miser 86 on stream, and I have no idea who you are on Facebook, like, if that's not your name, <clears throat> if I don't get a request from Bobby Space Miser, like, then I have no idea to accept. Like, my, my friend request queue right now. Uh, let's go to see all. I'm going to clip it. I don't want to bring my whole browser over here, but... This is this is my friend request queue right now. So like if I haven't requested if I haven't uh accepted your friend request, it's only because like it's just lost in the sea of friend requests. That's the only reason. But if you send it again, I'll, I'll probably record. I'll probably accept it now that I know. Now that you've literally, literally asked me and like I know who you are, like. Uh, this pack is not super exciting. <clears throat> I got these from watching the same ad over and over again, Bugs. Nice. Did it work? I don't even know if it worked. I mean, God, then we got tendrils. I feel like Storm has been open a lot when we've been drafting. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> 100, I messed up before bits. It's just Mastermind. We're, we're looking like it's we're looking like Mardu, right? Because we have Orzhov Signet. Uh, there's no, this, this pack's pretty rough. We have no way to splash any other colors as of yet. Uh, I have not watched Game of Thrones yet. It's literally been one night. So please do not spoil anything. Uh, this pack is really kind of meh. <clears throat> Wouldn't mind some big artifact idiots to put in the graveyard or get out of the graveyard. I don't know where this deck is going, which is my big my big issue right now. I have no idea what this deck is trying to do. Uh, my thoughts on the Modern Horizon spoilers, that they're pretty exciting so Shut far. Up and take my money. One weird friend flex, but okay, Buck. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh boy. Yeah, Thoughtseize is decent. I have no idea. It's like Thoughtseize just seems unimpressive though. I'm gonna try to take Lava Claw Reaches or something. Have a have a land. Or called off a Forge Master or something. <clears throat> Glorybringer also pretty good. I'm gonna take Forge Master. Whoa. We have no reason to be white. We could just be Grixis, guys. We could. Oh, boy. The only other cards in this pack for all the colors we are guaranteed to be in are Rabble Master and that. Yeah, we're just taking this. It's not even close. Demonic Tutor? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> all right, well. We're trying to, we're trying to put something together here. <clears throat> huh. Is it Signet? Yep, that'll do. That helps our Grixis stuff. Fumeral? Okay. Okay. Well. Put this signet over here. I did pass him at the confluence, but I don't think that's I don't think that's consecrated Sphinx level. I mean it's not gonna win you the game. It's a very powerful card, but consecrated Sphinx just wins you the game. Hmm. Hum, 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 hum. Oh, I just got a friend request from Bobby Miser. I'm going to confirm that right now. Because we're good friends. 
I'm gonna take this wandering funeral. And what do we got here? Would this allow? Batter Skull and Mind Slayer both seem pretty good when we have. Actually, this Duretti is not the one you want for the Mind Slayer. Goblin Welder is decent, though. Forge Master, also not bad. I might just like Batter Skull better. Yeah, it was Bobby Space Miser eighty six. That was the that was the full name. I want to take Mind Slaver. I think you just win more with Mind Slaver than you do with the other one. <clears throat> Knight's Whisper probably better than Huntmaster, or not Huntmaster, Thunder My Hellkite. Uh, it's interesting. Wheel of Fortune is interesting. A Thousand Year Storm is a cool card. It's real hard to to make it do the thing that you want it to do though. I'm gonna take the Wheel of Fortune probably. <clears throat> oh, Creeping Tarpit comes back? Oh, gas. And the two cards that we were even considering in this pack come back. Alright. Alright. Yeah, Flame Slash is fine. Probably better than 4 mana Jace. Ooh, Light of the Stage is nice. Can last names have numbers in them? I don't actually know that. <clears throat> That's a good question you're asking here. Volcanic Island? Probably better than anything else in this pack. Academy Ruins might even come back, which would be cool. But, uh... We actually, without this Consecrated Sphinx, we don't even need to be blue, but we have a Consecrated Sphinx, so we kind of do need to be blue, so it's kind of a... Oh, here's an Upheaval. Huh. Are we Upheavaling? Are we Crutch Juniering with Upheaval and uh, and Burning of Zinyi? Interesting. Alternatively, we take the Badlands. I don't think we're Upheavaling yet with just these guys. Josh, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. Well. This pack's actually pretty tough. We also just take Bitter Blossom or Ancestral Vision. But I think there's going to be something that comes back here that's pretty good. I do like this Badlands a lot. Yeah, I'm going to take the Badlands here. The Upheaval might actually come back. I'm not sure I've had any idea what people are drafting in this in this in this specific draft. Again, we have Sweet Chandra, Ashiok, Remand. <clears throat> this is a good Chandra. It's also very good with... with with upheaval because you can add two and then float it and do the thing and is it really Ashiok here? It's weird for me to ask that, but I'm gonna take. All right, I'll take the Ashiok for you guys. I'll do it for you guys. <sighs> Telling Academy doesn't seem great here, right? <clears throat> what do we have for Dark Dwellers? We got Demonic Tutor, Knight's Whisper, Chain Lightning, Flame Slash. Is it three or less? Wheel of Fortune, light up the stage. It's actually pretty good. I actually like Dark Dwellers here quite a bit. It's also a solid threat. We have <clears throat> Potassible Negate. Golgari Signet doesn't do that much for us. <clears throat> I'll take it. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thanks for always being a fantastic human and an amazing content. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Preach. I do like a Mana Lake. We can empty the Warrens. We can just Yogg Moss Will and, and just try to uh, try to do the thing. Is this a young Pyromancer deck? It actually might be. I don't think so. This deck is weird. I have no idea what this deck is even trying to do right now. I 
What is even? Ha I have no idea what our deck is trying to do. <clears throat> Boros Signet. All right. Well, that's the thing, I guess. I mean, I do like a Phyrexian Arena and this. We do have a lot of three drops, though. Ideally, this will be a one drop. Yeah, this deck is strange. Gilded Lotus seems good if the upheaval comes back. But, like, it doesn't really do anything. If it doesn't, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Him to Torox seems good, especially with Mind Twist. We can just get rid of all their things. I like that. We're also going to be heaviest black. Yeah, I'll take Daredevil over Tassiger. I don't really care about a Tassiger. Oh, Infernal Titan comes back? Wow, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, I'll just take Infernal Titan here. We have a lot of... Wow, Bitter Blossom comes back too? Oh, uh, I don't actually hate Cabal Ritual. I don't like it either though, but I don't, I don't hate it. This deck is so weird. Consecrated Sphinx is like our only blue card. That's so strange. <clears throat> Do we just get rid of the blue? No, Ashiok is blue too, I guess. Empty the Warrens. Empty the Warrens could be actually good in this deck. I can't believe the Academy Ruins didn't come back. Like, you don't have the mind. You don't have the, uh. The Mind Slaver, dude. This deck. I, I have no idea what this deck is even doing. See, if we're cutting the blue, I wish I took the Lava Claw Reaches instead of the Creeping Tar Pit. The Volcanic Island also makes me sad. Because then we only have two, two fixing lands. <clears throat> and we almost want the Orzhov Signet instead of the Izzet Signet, because we'd rather be fixing black with double black, double black. Double black. Cut Mastermind's Acquisition. Cut Consecrated Sphinx. Cut Ashiok. How does that look? 25 cards, huh? Um, we have Empty the Warrens. Are we doing anything with Empty the Warrens? Or is it just like a meme? I mean, it's just this feels like kind of just a tokens deck that's like going to make a million dudes. Forge Master probably doesn't do anything here. There's a lot of components from different types of decks in this deck. And, uh... Like, it's almost like we kind of, like almost have a storm deck here which is so weird but we don't I mean Forge Master can sack the Doretti tokens but I think that's pretty much it that's pretty much the extent of it same thing with Welder Guess we're taking empty out. Do we just play all the signets? I mean, if we're running Ashiok, I'm just going to run Consecrated Sphinx too. Because we have the mana for it. Like, we have one, two, three. We have four sources of blue right in the sideboard alone, along with Izzet Signet, which is five. We can put three islands in, it's eight sources of blue. Welder plus Doretti does loop Mind, Sl Mind Slaver. That's interesting. We can also get back a Metamorph. I actually think Welder might be decent here. Do we want Wheel of Fortune? Do we even care about Wheel of Fortune? The 
This has been a very interesting. Yeah, let's cut wheel. We'll board into Flame Slash because we have Chain Lightning and Lightning Strike thank already. You. Valtrex, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, I'm going to bring in Sphinx because I'm just a lunatic. And then we can probably bring in Welder. And then we have... I think I think this is good. So, yep. Three Islands was what I was looking at. Uh, four, five, six, seven eight black sources and then we uh which is nine and then four five six seven eight nine ten eight red sources one it's one two three four five six seven eight five six seven eight nine three four five six seven eight i think we get one more black which i think is fine so this is six seven eight nine ten two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> All right. Uh, is light up the stage good enough? It draws you two, right? I mean, yeah, why wouldn't it be? I mean, a lot of times it's one mana draw two, and like we have a ton of tokens to try and get through. It also triggers off of Pyromancer. We also have a ton of Bitter Blossom tokens to get damage through. Like, yeah, I think it's great in this deck, actually. This is probably one of the better... Uh, Divination, no breathing. <laughs> That's good, man. That was good. <clears throat> thank you. Go games. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I will mulligan this hand. This is a keeper. Uh, I'll put you on the bottom. We don't have a red land, let alone a you know a red a red land. Oh, that was a host, not a sub. Was that? Did I miss something? Unseen Spectre was the sub. Thank you so much. Go Games, thank you so much for the, the host. To go Unseen Spectre, thanks for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. I uh, I saw the wrong notification there. Why do we have more blue lands than red lands? Magic's hard sometimes. I don't think we have a, a double red card in the deck. We do have one Consecrated Sphinx, which is double blue. I think that's the only reason if that's the case. Also, both of our signets produce red, so. I see. <clears throat> I see. Your, your mana base is much stronger than mine, for sure. Oh, that's sad. That is so sad. <clears throat> Can't Knight's Whisper there. That's too bad. Oh, we have the, well, I guess we have the Goblin Dark Dweller. You're right. Wow. Legit mirror match. <laughs> oh, that's that's pretty comical. So if we hit a land, we can Knight's Whisper. God. Hopefully his mana base and his creatures are better. Why would you hope that? That seems like a weird thing to hope. Got a blood crypt? His mana base definitely looks better, that's for sure. But if we're winning, why would we drop in? Like, like I get what you're saying, but like, you're hoping that we lose so that we can drop in redraft. But if we, if you don't hope we lose and we end up winning, then we don't need to redraft, Shut right? Up and take my money. Like, then the deck's actually all right. Wow, twenty one hundred million. That's how I stuff. Oh, it's just it's mostly just stuff. Like, it's not like it's not like stuff that's super pressing. But like, as always, uh, I like to be transparent about like if you guys donate, this is where it goes. So that's just where it's going. It's just going to, to old bills and things. 
Oh, that's nice. One, two, three, four, five. That's less nice now that I... Uh... <clears throat> well, I guess we're going to keep on exiling. Josh, thank you so much. Though. I really appreciate it, buddy. You are awesome. Uh, phew. all right, that's nice. Um, I hope they don't have Consecrated Sphinx as well. Did they Heroes Downfall our Goblin Welder? Yikes. What did you get? Oh, Dark Dwellers? That's real good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. How do we get out of this one? <clears throat> oh, they just heroes downfall with our own guy. That's really sad. They just go... Goblin Dark Dwellers, Flashback Heroes, Downfall, Kill, Consecrated Sphinx. That's pretty brutal. Well, at least we get to draw two out of the deal. Yeah, that was a good two. The green screen scared you? Why? I don't understand. Wait, they didn't... Did they not use Ashiok? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. I think it's actually more important to, to deal four to Ashiok here. Oh, that was, that was pretty bad. <laughs> Woo. <clears throat> oh, wow. That was, that was a huge misplay. You got a Mesmeric Fiend, and you hit a Chain Lightning Shirt. So, yep, that seems fine. Mm, that seems meh. Demonic Tutor. Ooh. All right, so we're going to have four mana left over. Let's leave up a... I guess we don't need the blue. I guess we don't need the red either. What do we got here? Inferno Titan? That doesn't do it. Dire Fleet Daredevil seems good. We have we'll have two mana. That doesn't get anything. Alright. Inferno Titan seems good. Metamorph. Can Metamorph copy anything that we care about? Huh. I mean Inferno Titan next turn just seems pretty nuts, right? I mean, Slaver could be good, but it's going to take like a million turns to cast it in the Zashiok, so I don't really see that that doing anything. Oh, 
man. <clears throat> and we could also just Phyrexia Metamorph and copy our Consecrated Sphinx, but that seems a little scary. So you have one card, huh? Actually, we can't activate our guy, right? One, two, three. No, we're one shy. Yeah, that sucks. That creeping tarpet really messed us up this turn. So they can only block two. So they'll block here, here. Ashok will go to four. We still want to just keep them off the... Uh, We still want to keep them off the the Dark Dwellers, for obvious reasons. Yeah, we'll draw one more time. <clears throat> so we're going to go to three off of the Ashiok, and then we should be able to kill it next turn, theoretically. Yep. And then we're going to run a real short leash here. Well, I'm going to block the thief, so. They also can't activate this. <clears throat> Should we do something else? Should we play Signet first? Yeah, kill flyers the Nash Shock is obviously the plan. One, two, buckle my shoe. <clears throat> All right, so they're in top deck mode. Like you do, like you do. Uh, I will decline. <laughs> That's uh, I will not do that. I actually think we might have enough damage to to get through. Um, dire fleet actually seems decent here. We can kill. Say Hero's Downfall. And I guess we're activating Tar Pit. So. Activate Tar Pit. Play Rabble Master. Uh, maybe we don't play Rabble Master. We can just keep up Downfall in case they want to act. They can't act. I guess they can't activate that. Actually, 6, 79, 10, 11, 12, 13. I guess we could just... Uh, we'll, we'll wait to see if they act. <sighs> they block here, though. Yeah, I guess that's fine. They take 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They have to activate this. They have to take one more. Yeah, we'll just kill this. Yeah, now they're going to have to activate the Fumarole. They're going to have to block Titan, so it dies anyway. They take one on their upkeep, take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> so they go to one here. And they can't activate Confluence for any sort of red spells. No. Okay, wow! <laughs> one card in our deck and we win the game. That's insane, dude. What a game. What? What a game. Jeez Louise, man. Woo! Ashiok's a hell of a drug. And we have a Mastermind's Acquisition. 
a dark petition and a demonic tutor. That's a lot of uh Still only one because of a misclick, though. Oh, all right, cool. <laughs> That's like, make sure you don't forget. All right, you got, you good. It's a weird thing to uh, to make sure I remember. Don't, don't ever forget that. Yeah, this seems fine. Turn one is it signet seems seems good. Uh turn two to ready. Eh, we can mana confluence take a million next turn. Mana confluence activate as a signet. You're gonna take one, two, three, we go to five, and then we get to ready next turn. Is that the only way to do that? I think so. What if we go tarpet next turn ancient tomb? Is it signet? Tarp it into Signet? No, that wouldn't do it, right? It just doesn't need to be said. Like, reminding someone why they... The, like, the, the, the only reason they won. Like, it's just a weird thing to do. I'm not sure what value you get out of that. <clears throat> yeah, we're just going to turn one into Signet. That just seems like the best value. Why is it... It's like, would you like to resolve your spell? Yeah, I'm good. Just put it in play. Drop that dude like it's hot. Hmm. Okay. It's got to be Duretti, right? Mom spaghetti. No one has a problem with, like, you know, but oh well, I'm just going to lurk. Sorry. Like, you don't have to lurk. You can definitely contribute. But the one thing you've contributed so far was, like, still only one because of a misclick, though. Like, in with no other context, that just seems really kind of... Like, I'm reminding you that it wasn't a genuine victory. It was just a shitty victory for you. Like, it was just a weird... It was just a weird thing to say, man. It's like, totally, please don't just lurk. Like, definitely contribute, for sure. I think that's great. But, like... You know, it just, it just, it doesn't add anything. That doesn't add anything. Yeah, we're just going to make a confluence here. God, this feels so bad. Taking a thousand damage. Just to play a, a, a mom spaghetti. No, unjust one. No worries, man. No worries at all. I appreciate you saying so. Uh, that, you, that you meant nothing bad by it. Here comes Ashiok. Oh, wow. Just hear his downfall. All right. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, we're we'll grieving Tarpet. <laughs> That's. All right. I don't want you getting no snakes. Don't get no snakes from me. Don't get no snakes. I'm actually probably going to play this next turn. I want to take another damage just to play. Actually, I totally do, right? I might as well take two in case I can play something, right? Ooh, one, two. Uh, chain link and mind twist, huh? All right. Well, I'll play a land here. I'm not going to mind twist you for two. I will mind twist you for your entire life next turn, though. Because that seems good. Can we talk about how painful this mana base is? Like, literally painful, yes. Oh, I see. Well, isn't that something? Well. What did you get? Goblin Dark Dwellers again? Man, you love those Dark Dwellers. Well, we're going we're gonna to get your whole hand out of here. Get it right on out of here. Alright, so what are we playing here? We need a red. A red's a doodle. Yeah, we're going to like nine here, but you know, you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do. <clears throat> I 
And one, two, three, four, five, done. And then you had nothing. So now we can attack with Creeping Tar Pit. Yeah, all right, you got it. Oh, this is a good top. They, they have Mesmeric Fiend too? We're gonna draw Mesmeric Fiend. <laughs> oh my God, just stop. Please just stop. <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on. That's unreal. You gotta be kidding me. Like, how is that real? How on the entire planet Earth does that work, dude? Maybe don't say a card you don't want anyone to draw it. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's how that works. Alright. Well. Oh. Oh. One, two, three. Yeah, all right. So cool. Four, one, two. We get to, we'll take one here. So what you're saying is I can get rid of your Ashiok and then play my own Ashiok? Oh, Biscuits. Thank you. The Unjust One. Thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Sorry about our, our kerfuffle earlier. Really appreciate the, uh, the understanding. Thank you so much, dude. It is now I who has the Ashiok. I stole your Bedevil. Whew, that was good, because that would have killed Ashiok. I don't know if you guys knew this. Thank you. Joe Mama, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Nothing, huh? Oh, a Mox Emerald and a course of Portal. All right, we're hitting all the good stuff now. Is it worth dealing three to go to seven? Maybe. Oh, we just won the game. All right, well, that'll do, I guess. <laughs> Honestly, I think their deck was better than ours, for sure. I think their deck was for sure better than our deck. But maybe our deck's not terrible. Who knows? I don't know, man. I don't know what just happened there, but wow, that went well. Mind twist your life, I guess. Before they conceded, I was about to say, uh, with you having Ashok out and them only having one card, I feel like they were behind the eight ball. That's, I think they definitely were behind the eight ball, as it were. Also, the Unjust One definitely, um, Mind Twist is a messed up magic card. Unjust One, definitely join the uh, subscriber Discord if you're interested. It's pretty sweet. I don't want you to, I don't want you to feel like you should just be a lurker, because I, uh, I definitely actively encourage interaction and and good times. Uh, do you have do you have Discord? Did Twitch ramp up ads or is it just me? They might have. I think they give. Do they give you bits for ads though? Like if you watch. Bobby Miser, have a great afternoon, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. Tell work I said hi. I'll keep this just because of the uh, the night's whisper. Remember that time our opponent had five cards in hand and then we got rid of all of them? That was pretty cool. That was a good time. Didn't, because Hajgulashi, didn't Hajgulashi be like, I got these hundred bits from watching ads? soul ring just let your soul you can watch extra ads for bits but normally no you get nothing dang dang do I night's whisper here what's going on here like, Knight's Whister makes us discard. I don't want to do that, but I do want to hit a red source because otherwise we do nothing. So we're going to, we're going to, if, if, if this card is a red, oh, okay. I actually don't know what to discard here. It might just be a swamp. 
I don't think we need three black sources. Oh man, aggressive. Do we have any mountains in our deck? We do have some mountains in our deck, believe it or not. Some of them are non-basic mountains, such as Badlands and Volcanic Island. Oh, I want to metamorph that. Can we do that? I actually want to... What I really want to do is Dak Faden and steal that. Okay, well, now you're just being... Now you're just being rude. Thank you! All right, well, we're definitely just killing that. Oh, God, we have so few... We have so little manas right now. I really want to get rid of the last two cards, but this guy is no longer killable if we do that. So, here we are. Could have copied this, too. And then we'd never make copies, but they make a million copies, so that seems worse, too. Friendly FFS, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Uh, why can't Mind Twist just let you choose the cards they discard, too? Yeah, that's a good question. That's a good question. Like, if you Mind Twist them for three, you get to look at their hand and choose the three cards. I feel like that is a little, that is a little more fair. Oh, Umazawa's Jitte, huh? Does this card take a while to see the sub? Uh, sometimes, I think. Oh god, what is going on? We don't have we don't have enough removal for all these things. If anyone has any insight into the Discord, because I I've never actually had to do it because I was you know it's it's that's our Discord. Um, but if anyone has any insight on what the how to like how to connect it, it let let unjust one know. Oh, uh, one, two, three, five. Oh boy, and they have one card in hand now, so. So Direfleet Daredevil is pretty bad in this matchup, let's admit. Discord checks once per hour or so. Oh, interesting. I did not know that, actually. We could Metamorph copy the Pelucranos. And then they just equip the Jitte to it, right? Oh, God. But the nice thing is we can actually sack this to get Metamorph back. Yeah, they just move Jitte over and kill it. Oh, God. Guys, this is bad. Just go Ned T6. I always go Ned T6. Sometimes when I get real excited, I'm like, let's let's push this baby to Ned T6. That's how uh that's how you get it done. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve damage. I mean I almost feel like we have to just metamorph here. Mox Pearl? Why wouldn't you just play that? That's weird. We could also take Jitte, huh? Now we'll take Pelucranos. I used to be in a Simpsons parody band called Ned T6. <laughs> oh... I don't know what so you him them means. I have no idea. Oh, it, oh, so they just kept it so I him them? Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a solid strategy. Or they could just play it and then not lose the card. Oh, God. This is significantly worse than... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Tooth and nail? Oh, you're just going to Pelucranos for like a thousand. That's pretty good. Interesting. This does not do what you think it does, though. This only does plus four. And then we can... Now we can block... Oh, you're just going to give it neg one, neg one. Yes. Yes, that is a solid strategy. I, uh, I support your efforts. 
Yes. I thought I was getting tooth and nailed for a third time in this cube. Uh, do we have any removal that we're not using? Not really. Flame Slash. Let's bring in a Flame Slash. We'll take out... Uh, what was the card we had last game that I was like, oh, I wish we didn't have this card? What was it? Guys, come on. Don't mess around. Tell me what it was. Dire Fleet. That was it. Thank you. Thank you, Cyborg Huey. I was like, what is this card? What's this card that's not very good? We figured it out. I will play first. Oh, uh, yeah, all right. I'm game. I'll give it a go. I'll give it the old college try. Here's the question. Do we play Swamp first in order to, to, to play him on turn two if we get it? No, I don't think so. I don't think it's that important. Where it's at. I got to turn him on a microphone. Garbage thief. You're a garbage thief. Got him. What's it like being that wrecked? Gotta be rough, right? Wow, every game with the, with the soul ring, huh? Into a jitte? A guy follows his friends to a party and gets blackout drunk. He wakes up the next morning with no idea how he got home and his wallet is missing. All he remembers is the house had a bright purple door and a gold toilet seat. He looks all over town until he finds the purple door. He knocks, tells the owner, I think I left my wallet here last night. The owner says, you're out of control. How did you find the place? The guy says, well, all I can remember was the purple door and the gold toilets. Oh no, that's, you're going to have to, you're going to have to continue because you ran out of room. Hodgkalashi, my last bits, Ned T6 for life. <laughs> The guy says, well, all I can remember was the purple door and the gold toilet seat. The owner says, gold toilet seat? So you're the bastard who pooped in my tuba. <laughs> oh, that's way that's way less funny than it should be. or than it, th That was way funnier than it should be. It was way less funny than it. You know what? That's a terrible joke, but I laughed at it. So that's, it's, maybe it's good. Do we just kill this? I feel like we do. You got it. You have you have lightning to me. Um, it's an awesome joke, thank you very much. You're right. I was just playing. That's my bad. So they go land, they have five mana next turn. Which means they could you activate this guy for four. Shoot the blocker. Yep, that's a, that's a thing. God, Soul Ring is a messed up magic card Thank too. You. With the reveal of Ice Fang Coatl, is it finally time to brew Sultai eight Strix? Well, there's no, there's no, there's only there's only four Strixes now though. They don't have Baleful Strix yet. Also, what I was going to say, Ice Fang Quaddle is a hell. That is a hell of a... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? That's a hell of a Baleful Strix. It doesn't have Death Touch unless you have Snow Permanence, though, which is pretty rough. It still comes into play, draws you a card, and has Flying, though. I don't know. I think it's great, though. My, my kingdom for, like, a go for the throat or something here. Well, that's close. That's, uh... I don't know how we win this game, guys. How do you think we win? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a nine damage next turn. Is it a snow creature? Does it say three other permanents? Is that why? Oh, boy. I mean, if we can draw Signet into Duretti, we can actually play it and kill this. I'm just going to pass here. We're going to hope to draw Signet, and then we go Signet, Duretti, uh, sack the Signet, kill the Pelucranos. <laughs> Pfft, 
What in the earth, man? I mean, we have one draw step to deal with this Polygranos, so... First time sub, thanks for the solid content. Bushido Bonkai, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Oh, no. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Hoping for a signet. Send me a signet. Oh, right now. Sword of Fire and Ice is pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. All right, so we have three red cards. Sword of Fire and Ice. I'm going to concede. We have nothing to do. All your strength. And you have nothing to threaten me with. Yep. All right. That game was not remotely close. So let's hope for something a little more... A little more in the middle. Ah. <sighs> Got a super late message. Glad I got to catch Cassius. What's going on, buddy? Long time no see. Is it as good as a Song of Fire and Ice? No, it's it's better than a Song of Fire and Ice. Although significantly fewer deaths. Similar but different. That was a lot of eggs. Unfortunately, if you drop the Polychronos basket, the eggs don't break. So that's that is an upside. Do, 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 do you guys know if the Mario music is in public domain? Because I could just I could just spam that while we're playing. I'm gonna keep this because any red or any blue source just makes this hand very good, and we do have a him to Torok here. So what could what could probably what could possibly go wrong? Uh, I have not seen the finale, you guys. I have not watched the last episode because it just aired like less than twelve hours ago. So uh, please do not. No, no. What the hell is this? The same deck. Folktronica, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Is it, are you talking about the music from the, the level Bowser's Castle, or was there a Nintendo game called Bowser's Castle? Everything Nintendo is super copyright protected. Well, biscuits. They have two cards in hand. A oh, bye bye. Did they mulligan? Oh, they mulled the five. That's a yikes for me, dog. They can see it in the game. <laughs> turn one, Skull Clam. Turn two, Survival. Him, you concede. All right. That was a good one. Solid. Uh, it's, a... it's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to just submit like this, I guess. Oh, this hand seems phenomenal. Turn one welder, turn two blossom. And we're just getting we're just getting our beat down on. Oh, but we want to lean towards that, don't we? Mm. I think it's still fine. My problem is if they get uh Oh, they, they didn't have Jitte, that was the other deck. They just they all seem the same to me. Don't go changing to try to please me. You never had to work that hard. Mm. Well, so here's the thing. If they draw one card to discard to um, to survival, they still have one creature in hand and two lands in play. So then they have to draw another land. And, like, what creature are they really going to get that's going to put them back in the game with, with only two lands in play? You know what I mean? So I mean, just drawing a creature to, to discard to survival doesn't doesn't necessarily do any. I guess they could draw, but then they still can't play it until the next turn, right? So then they have a Rafellos next turn. Never had to work that hard. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'd really like to be able to cast two black spells here, but uh, alas, it was not meant to be. I guess we mesmeric fiend here. We 
could just try to hit a black land. Eh, we can just Mirror Fiend. I'd rather get an idea what's going on here. And I can talk to... Woodfall Primus, Finale of Devastation, and Deranged Hermit. I guess we're taking Deranged Hermit. Woodfall Primus, they're quite a, quite a ways away from casting. I don't want clever conversation. Yep, seems fine. Rexage. That's a good one. That is a good one. So your hand is Swamp Woodfall Primus Finale. So you're clearly going to reanimate some nonsense. So I'm going to bring in a Relic here. Boy, the one thing the Grixis deck lacks is a decent way to deal with uh, enchantments. Why don't we have that? I'll tell you why. Because there's no justice in the world, guys. There's no justice in the world. Oh, Blast Zone. On one. Oh, I wish they targeted their one of their one of their enchantments instead. All right, so this guy's gone. You still have these. You discarded this guy. Well, that is not a black source, believe it or not. So we're gonna take two. We're gonna Knight's Whisper here. Pay one. That is a black source. We do want a black source next turn. Da, 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 da. All right, so. Finale is for, you can finale for three next turn. That's not super exciting. We're just going to tar pit and signet. Yeah, I don't want to trade with the uh, Goblin Welder. Seems like he's got a little more value than, than a Rex Sage. Oh, deal with Ash Shock. Uh, deal with enchantments by Ash Shocking him before they get cast. Solid strategy. Basically put my brain through a washing machine via various chemicals. Wow. <laughs> I went on a vision quest. That is a thing. What does Welder do in this deck? Lots of cute shit. Hashtag cute shit. Uh, we got Mind Slaver, so it's, it's possible to do that. We got Phyrexian Metamorph, so... You know, in the late game, you can you could swap a, a Signet for a Metamorph or a, a Mind Slaver or something. Alright, so they are going to do it for three. So that's gone. The Swamp is gone. I don't know what they have for Tireless Tracker. Fascinating. So we're just going to Chain Lightning the Tracker and then him to Torak your last card, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So ideally we draw something cool for four. Maybe we draw... If we draw a Metamorph, it's great because then we can actually either copy one of these... Yeah, arena's actually... Oh, now that's way too much black. Wow, that is not that great, actually. Yeah, so we're just going to go... Chain Lightning this dude. Do we just play Arena here? Oh, yeah, blocking with Fiend would have been great. That was a good call. I wasn't even thinking of the uh, making him discard the guy. Maybe we'll actually maybe we'll keep him for that reason. Yeah, we'll see if that works now. I never should have work that hard. I like that our threats are uh, one mana, two mana, zero mana, three mana. Sure. So 
So they play land this turn? They got three lands? Yeah, we're gonna block here. Yeah, that's fine. So now we still get to discard the Hermit. Uh, play you. One, two. All right. Well, they are in top deck mode, although they have a good amount of mana. It's even worth attacking here. Coming with her fellows, so I guess we can block with Welder. I don't think Welder is that great. Watched a bunch of your draft videos because of Warson. Thank you so much for saying so, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah, well, I don't know why. Yeah, I wouldn't. Have, I don't even know if I would have put, played Rafellos. Yeah, why is he playing these? Like, oh, I guess you can draw cards now. That's pretty good. I mean, all things considered. Thank you. That's those are those are good ones to keep. That's interesting. Okay, sure. Four. Oh wow, he's getting aggressive. Oh boy. Things are happening. So I have one card in hand. But they have three, four, five, six, seven mana. So if it's a creature, they could discard it, search for a six drop, and still play it. That's actually pretty good. Or they could just play it if it's a creature. Oh, they just put counters on this? Sure. All right, well, these draws have not been ideal. Although I might not seem to care. Oh, three, four. I mean, they're real close to dead. Yeah, we have Ancient Tomb, we have Mana Confluence, and we have uh, Bitter Blossom and Phyrexian Arena. It's, uh, it's a lot of damage. Broccoli Biatches. <laughs> oh, man. Good times. What you got, green deck? Nothing. Uh, I mean, if they can if they can't deal with Creeping Tarpon and the Lightning Helix, then they're dead. And if they take any card, any extra card off this, they're dead. So you know, what are you gonna do? What is this? Just three and a tap? Okay, all right. I mean, if they somehow manage to get back Woodfall Primus, kill the Creeping Tarpon, then we're it's pretty rough. Vivian Reed. Eh, can't do anything about that. And they have no cards in hand? Nice. Okay. So... They're dead, right? Are they going to activate this to kill our arena so that we untap with just this guy? It's a jungle out there. Three mana. Kills rid of arena, sure. Alright. And that should be the double G's. Oh, 
Got him. I just did not seem like a 2 1 deck. I have no idea what happened. I guess our opponent misclicking in round one was definitely uh, beneficial. <laughs> Don't bring a salad to a gunfight. <laughs> That's pretty good. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. Check me out at meundies.com slash franklapore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. So it's a super great deal. You can also check out manatraders.com. And if you use the promo code and the link in the description below, you will get 20% off the first three months of any subscription. So that's a great deal too. Definitely check that out. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great, uh, have a great thing. Thanks for watching.